Yeah! Hola gang and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your Old Nerd of the day and I try things so you don't have to. I am over at Jack in the Box this morning to try one of their brand new hashes. They've got three separate hashes and I'm going to try the Wakey Bakey Hash Munchy Mashup. Sounds like they, they let a kid choose the name for it. It's fun. Let us go to the clipboard of fluff and it says a mashup of savory eggs, bacon, and pepper jack cheese with crispy hash browns and a tasty white cheese sauce. So I went through the drive through and I would really like to know what happened there. That's a blowout. Okay, so I did get napkins. Um, the lady at the window, no, no cordial stuff, no smile, no nothing. I don't know who peed in her Cheerios this morning. Got a fork, which is good. Let's lay down the napkins in a, a field of loveliness and protection. And there is the box it comes in. Open it up and see what's inside. Now it slid all over to one side. The presentation is not that great. It smells good. I don't know, for, for a mashup, I was thinking it would be more of a mashup. If you go to the website and look at the picture on there, it looks like it's just all just mashed up into this single yummy looking unit, whereas this is more of a pile up. You've got your hash brown just sitting there. It's not like crumbled up or anything and it looks like an egg just slammed on top. Yeah, I think this presentation would really piss off Gordon Ramsay. Okay, let's take, let's try and get a bunch on the fork and here's what I'm gonna be slamming in my mouth. Let's give it a shot. Okay, in that bite I got a little bit of egg, mostly the cheese sauce and bacon. Go ahead and try and get some hash brown in here. Okay, there's some hash brown with more of the bacon and the cheese sauce and the egg there. And let's grab a bite with mostly egg and, and some of the other stuff. As you can see, the egg wasn't scrambled, it was like fried. So it's just light, like this little saucer slab thrown on there. Okay, I'm kind of torn. The, the flavors, first of all, work nice together. The, the hash browns are crispy. The egg is nicely done. Um, the, the bacon is nice. I'm not sure if it's real bacon or it's fake and bacon. Um, the cheese sauce is, is thick and gooey and really good. And they've got a nice bunch of cheese thrown in there too that's all melty. But on the other side of the coin, if, like I said, if you look at the picture on the website, it looks like a mashup. It looks like a unit of stuff. Whereas this that I got is sort of compart, compart, compartmentalized, compartmentalized. There we go. You've got your, your hash brown patties and your egg. It looks like there's two hash brown patties in here. Maybe three. And an egg thrown on top and then all the, the gooey stuff on top of that instead of like scrambled eggs and crumbled up hash browns to make that unit. It's, it's more individual items stacked on top of each other. So while I do like it, it is good and tasty. The presentation, at least mine, sucks. And maybe it has something to do with that lady's attitude. Maybe it carries over to the people working in back. I don't know. The damage on this thing was a mere $3 which I think is, is pretty right on, uh, considering all the stuff that goes into it, all the elements. On the Nerdometer, I would give the Jack in the Box Wakey Bakey Hash. <laughs> it makes me laugh. I think I would give this a middle of the road, I like it. I, I would like to probably get it again at a different one just to see if it looks more like it does on the website. Now, 
you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a realist and I realize that the majority, 99.9% .9 of the time, things on the website do not look like they do in real life, vice versa. With all the elements in there too, this is gonna fill you up. This is, this is a filling meal. It's like getting a chicken fried steak meal or something like that. It's pretty heavy. So while it's good and I do like it, it's not anything really unique per se. I mean, go get a breakfast platter from any place. Um, put some white gravy on top, put it in a box and just shake the hell out of it. There you go. Which makes me very curious about is this actually how it's supposed to be put together? I would say no. And they do have two others. They have like this jalapeno chicken, I believe, and a um, some kind of chicken, chicken something with Frank's Red Hot on it. And I love Frank's Red Hot. That is a, a heat thing that I do enjoy. I want to know, have you guys tried any of the hashes, the three hashes from jack-in-the-box here what did you try and did you like it or didn't you like it leave a comment there you go gang another review in the bag thanks so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and remember i put out videos every sunday tuesday and friday with live chats every saturday at 5 p.m pacific you can catch me on my social networks twitter facebook instagram at old nerd reviews where you can become a part of the old nerd crony community also, the website, oldnerdreviews.com. You guys have a freaking awesome day, and I'll talk to you again. Bye now.